What's going on guys, Strivers here, and welcome to episode 22 of PGR2 Road to Platinum. In the last episode, we carried on with the American Muscle Series, and we're going to nearly finish the series today with um, four more races. We've got a timed run, a couple of street races, and a speed camera, and that will just leave one street race for us to do. So we'll be starting today's episode with a timed run, and of course using the Corvette Stingray. Um, 2 minutes 29, or just over 2 minutes 29 for this one, and we're in Washington. And this one's in the rain, so again, I think it might be the second time run or hot lap that's in the rain, so it makes things a lot more difficult. That's obviously why they do it, a bit more challenging. But yeah, it's the same story as always with this one. As always, um, we've got to brake preemptively before, uh, before we would in the dry and try your best uh, not to slide everywhere with this car as it power slides like a beast in the wet but um, it was quite comfortable in the end I think this is probably my third attempt at this um, this race on my first couple of attempts I had to learn the track but there's a, a nice few sweeping corners in this one which you've just got to feather the throttle round as you do a little power slide around them because it's pretty impossible to not power slide in this car in the wet so but we're coming on to the second last straight of the first lap so this bit's a little bit tricky We've got a break there and there as well so it, it, you're going downhill and there's two sections to break in because there is part of that corner where the car's not in contact with the ground so um, and we're coming on over the first lap so that's 1 minute 13.6 so if you get another lap similar to that we'll be fine taking this one a little bit wide um, but you don't want to be power sliding too much because the, the rear end will kick out way too much um, but you can do some control power slides through these sort of uh, these sort of bends coming over to this corner now and this is one of those long right hand sweeping ones so you've got to try and get this right and you will end up sliding a little bit through there but overall it's not too bad around there And this is another one of the sweeping right-hand corners. Had to adjust slightly there. As you see, the car slid slightly to the left or adjusted to the left. I can never seem to get these couple corners right. I was going a little bit wide, and I didn't go wide enough coming out of that one. Um, but nevertheless, we're still on with a good time at the moment. Coming up to this last corner again, the changing in um, surface height, and then that ruined the lap. That going on two wheels before the last corner there, so slowed me down and I could turn later later on so this is going to be a slower lap 114.1 I think it was so half a second slower but we still got the platinum medal clean race as well uh, 2 minutes 27.7 so just under one and a half seconds so that's comfortable really so that's not too bad that one and um, we've got a couple street races coming up now and the first one's in Washington and I think the second one's in Chicago, and I do prefer the, the race layouts in Washington. They're a bit more interesting. So this is a six car race, four laps. So they're getting longer and longer, the races. Um, so we're coming up to the first corner, and it's quite hard to try and get past all the cars in the first few corners in this one, just because of how tight the track is, and it's not starting on the long straight, which a lot of the tracks do. So we did nearly get spun out on the first corner, but we're in fifth, going on the outside of this, um, that car there, and we're coming up behind this Chevrolet Camaro, so we're in fourth position, making sure not to power slide too much out of that corner, and luckily the Ford Mustang and the Corvette had a little battle in first and second place there, slowing each other up, which allowed us to fly past them which leaves me on the inside of this corner um, overtaking the Ford and then we're just going to go on the inside of this Camaro and we're now in first place before the second lap so that's always good plenty of time to defend the lead though but uh, yeah so much easier in the dry after coming from uh, driving in the wet there's a cool little section there, a thin slalom section coming into the second lap now so we've just got to defend the lead the Camaro is just over half a second behind 
but he will um, he will stay there for majority of the race because um, it is a very good handling car. Well, when I say very good, in comparison to the rest of the um, the cars in this class, I think it's got four handling, um, as does the Ford Mustang um, Cobra. But the Cobra suffers from understeer, whereas the Chevrolet um, isn't as bad. So it's quite easy to drive fast, whereas this one's obviously a bit harder. But we're doing some corn as well, like that one was quite nice, using the limit of the track, but he's still sticking with us. And yeah, he will um, be in that zone behind us for the majority of the race, but not enough to um, challenge us. Because I think they only catch up if we do make a couple mistakes. So he's a second behind. I think he was 0.7 at the start of the lap. But for example there, I don't know what I was thinking there. I went way too wide uh, on that corner. But coming up to the third lap. And he's just under a second now. So he is staying in that vicinity. But yeah, um, one thing I don't like about PGR is, um, or PGR2 specifically is that with the car classes if you want to um, do the hardest difficulties um, in certain series you have to use a specific car it does make it a little bit boring um, for example in the SUV series the uh, Porsche KN we had to use that car because you've got cars like the Volvo XC90 in that class which are really just when you come up against the Porsche, if you're in that, there's, you've got no chance. Unless you're on like bronze or maybe even steel. Or sometimes silver, to be honest. Because they don't drive very well at all, the AI, when you're on that difficulty. But yeah, it just makes the game a little bit less enjoyable. Um, for the American Muscle Series, you know, I've used a Stingray for every race. Which makes it a lot more easy to get Platinum. I'm sure you could do a few of the races using the... Um, the Ford Mustang Cobra or possibly the um, Chevrolet Camaro SS but um, yeah it, it makes it a bit more a bit more boring I'd say whereas in the other PGRs um, you can choose whatever class you like and their their um, well, PGR 3 I can't remember PGR 4 at the minute PGR 3 has um, classes A to E and then the certain cars within the class, so they are more matched, so you can um, get more of a level playing field. Whereas this one, when it does it by a car type, is not necessarily the best way of doing things. It's a good concept, but um, yeah, it does make it a bit more unfair. Um, and but well, when when you get towards the end of the game, like for example, after the American Muscle series, we get into the really good series starting to uh, drive supercars, older variants of supercars and stuff like that and they're more equal you know um, even in the American Muscle Series it's not too bad how uh, unmatched the cars are but the more we go on the more equal they'll get I think that's um, apart from the, the track specialist ones when we've got the Noble which is way better than every other car but yeah that's just one complaint about PGR2 um, but we do manage to stay ahead uh, of that Camaro throughout the entire race staying about that second behind and the, the Stingray actually came behind the Cobra there so he couldn't overtake in the rest of that race but that's two events down then we move to Chicago for the third street race which is also going to be three laps um, and I really don't like um, the races in Chicago very much. I don't like the uh, I like the look of the city, and I like how you know the, how the the races look and the scenery. But in terms of the track layouts, I'm not a fan. It's just like straights and then right hand corners, 90 degree corners, as you can see from the, the actual mini map. So it's not that interesting. But there's eight cars in this one. So we managed to overtake a few cars on the first lap. Um, coming up behind this Cobra. Nearly getting spun out there. There's a couple Cobras in front. Uh, I think it's a Mustang in front of that. And then, I can't see the car in first. I think it might be a Chevrolet Camaro again. I was trying to get past the Ford on the inside there, but he was having none of that. And I actually skimmed the wall there, but it did help us out as it flicked us into the uh, inside of the corner allowing us to overtake and this right hand sweeping corner which you've 
To be fair, it's actually probably easier to power slide around there, uh, as it, as it, you get a better turning angle. If you don't power slide, it does suffer from understeer a bit, this car. But we uh, take that Ford Mustang on the inside there, or the outside of that corner. And he tries to cut back inside, but we already had the racing line, so... We're in second place now, chasing down this Camaro SS. Clipping the wall again there, not doing very well. But again, I find it hard to drive at night on this game. It's not the clearest um, game to see. Taking that corner nicely, and now we're driving away from the Mustang. And um, he didn't do that corner very well, that um, Camaro there. <clears throat> Went quite slow around there, which leaves us an opportunity to catch him up. Taking this corner wide, cutting inside. Keeping the speed through here. Trying to overtake him at the same point as we did on that Mustang. Letting him go to the outside of the corner. Braking a little bit late so that I can um, take the inside line and drive around him. So we're now in first place. Three out of four laps. So it took a bit longer this one to uh, catch them up. And that was just probably one of my worst corners I've ever done. <laughs> Which leads him to catch up. And then he spun us out pretty much. Just about managed to hold it, but then the Mustang flies past us. And as does the Cobra, but we outbreak him, so break early and then cut on the inside of him as he shoots past the apex. Leaving us room to overtake this Mustang on the outside. And we do that, so we're back in first place, only a couple corners down there um, in second and third place. That was nice. But yeah, that was a good recovery actually. Coming into the last straight before the final lap. Now it's just a matter of holding on to this position. Second behind the car is. But yeah, I guess um, what I need to try and do is when I'm in front is not take the corners so um, so tight and try and hit the apex spot on because I do end up crashing a few times. So that's probably the right distance there from the apex, not too close, so that you're uh, risking hitting the wall. This Mustang is right behind us now. And I do wonder whether there's an algorithm for um, what position the cars are in, the, the AI, from how how well they drive. Because it seems like, say, this car behind me in second will automatically drive better than the car in third, and then better than the car in fourth, etc. Because it seems to be whatever car's behind you um, seems to be pushing you hard to overtake, but then the other cars don't really catch up. So, well, that's just a theory, I'm not sure if that's true. But um, we get another platinum medal, win the street race. A little bit more challenging this one, due to the fact that you, it's harder to overtake them on the, um, the first few corners. So it makes it a bit more challenging. 7,031 kudos. And I've noticed we haven't ranked up in a while. And we're not too far away now, actually. About 5,000, I think that was. And that leads us on to the last event for this episode, which is a speed camera. 110 for hard, 117 for platinum. And this is actually that difficult corner that we've just had in the last couple races. Where you go over this bridge, on the right hand side of the bridge, you've got the sweeping corner. That you want to take wide, and then whip the car on the inside round the apex so you've got enough speed and then full throttle through this bit into the speed camera which actually briefly flashed 119 and then the car changed gear so it went down to 118 miles an hour but it's still one mile an hour one mile an hour over what we need but yeah that only took me two attempts that one actually so that's not the hardest one it's all about that sweeping left hand corner getting that right but we do rank up Rank 42, 670,000 kudos altogether. And that is going to do it for this episode, guys. So, in the next episode, we'll be completing the American Muscle Series with the street race, uh, which is very difficult, but we'll get into that in the next episode. And then we'll do the next three races in the series that we do on lock. <clears throat> so, I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.